Hello, my name is Alex, and I will be showing you guys how to do a little basic scratch. I'm a beginner myself, so I'm not like the pros. However, I can definitely show you guys the first 30 steps. So, as discussed above, you want to have your crossfader settings. Your crossfader is right here. So, what pretty much this does is it switches from track A to track B. You want to have it on sharp and linear. So, that is the straight line and the sharpest it goes, as on the picture above on the blog. After that, you want to have both of your faders up. These are the up faders for this channel. You want both of these up, so the volume of the track is full for each one. And then, since I'm right-handed, uh, I move the crossfader with my right hand and the turntable with my left hand. So that depends on your style. I usually just switch the crossfader like this and move this like that. To move on, you want to have your scratch samples right here on this duck or on the other duck depending what uh if you're left handed or right handed and then a song on the other deck right here so I'm about to choose a song right now I will do a little hip hop some old school stuff let's see uh... so this song is by far side called on the deal and what pretty much you have to do for the starting steps is you play this track and then begin us with a scratch press play and move it up when you move the fader in when this is gonna move in you're gonna move the decker so for example one and then when you wanna go back you will move both back at the same time so the deck is gonna go counterclockwise and the fader is gonna go back to the B position and then again now you wanna move it back while you're moving the deck back you're gonna move the fader back and then again and then again pretty much you always wanna see where your sample starts which is right here as you can see on all pioneer decks you have a little like a little signal right here the moment I move it a little, the sample is going to start. For example, the sample starts. So you always want to keep a uh, note wherever the pointer is at for the sample to start. So let's go again. I'm going to put the song up. So again, for the basic scratch, you want to move the fader in the middle position, like right here. Right here in the middle. From, the, from all the way to the right to the middle. And then you want to move the deck inside while you move in the fader. So again, and then back. And I mean you will start getting faster once you start getting the feel of your equipment. However, until that is done, you have to keep practicing like this. So. Again, move, when you move the deck forward, move the fader in the middle position. What I usually do is I keep my thumb on this side of the fader, so I can always keep pushing it back, because you, you always want it on the starting position. And then use your either index finger or middle finger to start moving them forward. And then you can make different patterns also, for example. And you want to keep cutting it based on the music. So whatever track you use, you want to kind of go with the beat. So I will do a little routine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the middle frequency of the track so it sounds better. And then raise the high frequency of the scratch track so you can hear it more. And as you go, you're going to push it forward. You're going to let the deck go. This is going to move forward. And then you're going to hold the deck and move it back. So again. Let it go, hold it, move it back and push the fader back. So let it go, you're gonna move the fader in the middle position, and then you're gonna push it back and move the fader back. So let it go, move the fader back. Let it go, move the fader back. Let it go, move the fader back. And just to show you guys a little bit of what it's all about. And 
that's pretty much what uh, mixing is all about. Thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully you can start practicing these starting steps, and you can learn how to scratch too. Thank you.